What's up everyone? I hope you're having a good night, day, morning, evening, whatever you're doing. I hope you're doing it good. So I have a review today of an app I've been using for over five years. I've used it for several different companies that I've started. Not all of them are too successful, but it's called invoice to go and it's an easy way to create invoices on the go. They can be complicated invoices, specific invoices, they can be estimates, uh, purchase orders. There's a whole a lot of things you can do with this app. When I started using this app, it was free. Um, and then it, I think there was a small charge after that. Now here we are, you know, like I said, like five or six years later, uh, the app has grown, developed. There's so many opportunities. I mean, your clients can literally pay the invoice directly from the invoice from their phone. And it just makes everything so easy. So I have a couple different invoices here. They gave me a trial account because I don't want to show the information of all the customers I have um, on that. So they gave me a trial account and then I just kind of made up a invoice here. You can put your logo on the top. You can have your company. Um, and yeah, this is basically what it looks like. It's not in color because my printer is currently out of color. And I just kind of, well, you can see there, but you can arrange it any which way you want for the invoice. And I'm just going to kind of go through and go into the demo account here. Okay, let me get out of here. So, um, and basically they gave me a year free to make this video. They were like, hey, if you make a video, show us how you use the app, we'll give you a year free. So I was like, yeah, I definitely can't beat that. Um, so this is when you open up the app, this is basically what you'll have. You have your home invoices, estimates, purchase orders, credit memos, clients, items, expenses, reports, settings, help. Don't let this stuff intimidate you. Uh, the only thing I really do is I'll either send an invoice or I'll send an estimate. I don't really do purchase orders or credit memos. Um, but let's just say someone called, they want a service, so we're gonna create an invoice. You just hit create invoice, I add client. Now here I can go through all the contacts even in my phone or let's just say that we're going to, uh, Joe called Joe, um, let's just call him Burton. I don't know. Joe Burton. Okay. And you see no one's popping up because Joe Burton's a new client. I can just go down here. I'll add Joe's email. And it's nice because when you add this email, it will actually send the invoice directly to him. Only if you ask it to though. Uh, billing address. I'm just going to skip that, but you can do the billing address in that and I'll hit save. And then it comes down to the items. What are you billing billing uh, Joe for? And items, they have, you can go in and use a preset list which you can create. Say if you have just, maybe you just have a, like a coffee shop or something, which I don't know if this would be the best idea for a coffee shop, but um, let's say you have a lawn care business, okay? And you're gonna go and cut someone's yard and an extra expense would be to bag the yard and take the grass with you. And then an extra expense would be to add uh, like a fertilizer or something or in this case you have like bathroom remodel cupboard but let's just say I wanted to add an expense and that one is going to be let's just say fertilizer let's see if I can even spell it right probably not okay so we have fertilizer how much does one fertilization cost unit type you can select uh, days hours or none uh, and then the rate of the fertilizer, depending on how big the yard is, you'll have to kind of do all that. But let's just say general fertilization is $25. And I would hit $25. You have an option for a discount. You have option for the amount of tax you're going to charge, which you can also include tax, which I usually do. And you hit save. And there's your basic thing. So Joe ordered a fertilizer. I can click here on preview and pull up the actual what Joe will see when I send him the invoice. Now, if you look here, there's a pay now option. You know, you can always accept cash or card, but there's also a pay now option, and it allows people to directly pay from either their PayPal or a credit card, MasterCard, any of their accounts, and they can pay directly from this invoice, and automatically a receipt is generated and sent to them. Now let's say they wanted to make a partial payment and say they only wanted to pay $10 or something right now. They can go in a month later and pay the remaining balance and it will all keep track of it for you. So you don't have to uh, worry about any of that. So there's the invoice. I can send it off like that. And like I said, there's a lot more options if I wanted to add 
let's say if I want to go in here and add a couple more items uh, I can do a small paint job and look I can even go in here and customize it if there's something you worked out with the customer where you need to customize it and you can do that you see the total discount unit type you hit save and when you go to preview it let me see your updates there you can email this you can message it you can I mean it's it's so easy to do just on your phone and the invoices look really really good my actual invoice that I use looks way better than this demo one I whipped up but you can customize it let's jump in there real quick and I'll just show you what you can actually do with some of this stuff so if we go into the settings you see we have the customized invoice all you need to do is send your logo to your phone uh, so I can click on design they have several different kinds of ex uh, designs on here just uh, I don't know whatever your taste is and once you actually pick your design you can go through and you can do a logo you can add an additional logo maybe you have like a motto or something you want to add underneath that uh, color you can even change the color of basically what's going on highlights banner um, you can, I can adjust the size of the logo or anything like that watermark I can put a watermark on my logo uh, you can even put like a real faint layer over the whole thing which looks at makes it look really cool too uh, so there's tons of customizations and it even goes in with company information you can see I have JRE show 1234 demo Avenue United States phone number I can add a website I can add um, Oh, even with payment options so when people pay sometimes the payment isn't required right away you can set in the invoice when it's due and automatically it will send reminders to your client so you actually don't even have to keep track of that and then let's say the year is all over with and you're looking to see how many invoices you have you can click in your invoices you can click in the paid invoices and all of your invoices will be right there with the clients that you did business with and how much they paid you um, how they paid you and it will even sort out like I have 2018 I can go all the way back to like 2014 or whatever so there, there's an option to do that now let's go in here estimates work the same way you create an estimate add a client add items add discount and I mean they always have like you can attach photos if you need to uh, comments with special directions uh, there's really I haven't found anything that I haven't been able to do on this app I mean there's lots of stuff that I don't use on the app but you know uh, same thing with purchase orders create purchase order uh, and then we can even go down to expenses and like again we can sort by the year all tax years we could do and like I said these you can also print out directly from your phone real nice invoice I can literally make an invoice on the go parked in my car with in under five minutes and have it sent out um, ready for ready for review so uh, pros and cons with this is pro is it's very easy to use um, it, it's very self-explanatory um, and yeah it's it's very easy convenient to use now as for the cons there is a monthly uh, service charge now okay I believe it's around $8.99 a month but they have different plans depending on how many invoices you do I do maybe three to four invoices a month give or take you know sometimes some months I might do 10 invoices but some months I only do two invoices so I don't need to be making 10 invoices a day that plan doesn't fit me so they do have different plans you can get one that works for you and so that's one of the downfalls of course you have to pay for it but I mean it's way better than actually hiring a full-time employee to just sit there on the computer and create invoices keep track of invoices make sure invoices are getting paid so that $8.99 a month can be justified in that matter uh, now the other dislike that I, I don't care for anytime someone uses your money and handles your money they always require a percentage of it just like PayPal, eBay, when you sell something or a service, they collect a uh, you know a percentage of it. So if people choose to pay directly through this app, and when they go into uh, Pay Now, let me go here and let's just let's just uh, 
view this, pull this up here. Uh, how do I view it? Oh yeah, preview. Okay, so you'll they'll see this pay now option, and that when they click on the pay now option, it takes you to the alternative company that handles the payments and sends all the automatic um, tasks and all that stuff. So when they pay through that, they do take a percentage. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the percentage is, but most likely, if I get a payment for five hundred dollars, somewhere around eight. 15 to 18 dollars they're going to take for that transaction but you can always accept cash and check to avoid that so those are the only cons that i see at all with the app i've been using it now for at least five years i use it for all my billing it's very easy to do very easy to customize and i can print them out right here from my phone everything works very well so if you have a small business or even a larger business uh, and you are creating a lot of invoices on the go and they're slowing you down and they don't look the best, you want to step them up, check out Invoice to Go. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching.